Hello everyone, my name is PJ, and welcome to The Void. What is The Void? Well, it's this place. This place. A vast emptiness all my own in which I can do or make anything I want in a snap. Hello my baby, hello my honey, hello my rag time gal. Today's video is a continuation of the previous. In my Final Fantasy 1 review, I mentioned I would be making a separate video to talk about the game's music, and that's what this is. Before we get into my top 8 favorites, I wanted to take a moment to talk about the soundtrack as a whole. It was composed by the legendary Nobuo Uematsu, who is known for creating all the most iconic themes in Final Fantasy, including Prelude, the Final Fantasy Anthem, and the victory jingle. Though the series has had many other composers like Masashi Himazu and Kenji Ito, Uematsu is the name most fans think of when they hear Final Fantasy music. As I cover each item on this list, I will give a brief summary of the song and why I like it, which I'm warning you now, I am very bad at doing. I am not a musician, nor am I even a music theorist. I'm just a guy who loves sharing his favorite things with everyone else. In addition to the songs themselves, I will also be sharing remixes of these songs that I find particularly notable. I should also preface that this video will contain spoilers for FF1. You've been warned. And now, on with the list. Matoya's Cave plays in the location of the same name, as well as Mount Dwergar, the Ice Cave, and some other dungeons. While it may not invoke thoughts of witches or brewing cauldrons, it does have a very happy-go-lucky tone that helps you immediately feel at ease when entering a strange subterrain, even though it plays in the Ice Cave, which is far from a friendly place. Risa Oki is the vocalist behind two of the earliest Final Fantasy cover albums, Prey and Love Will Grow. On the albums, she sings lyrical covers of various songs from Final Fantasies 1 through 6 and in a wide variety of languages. They're all really good. She's super talented. One of her songs, Ou Palais de Ver, is a French song set to the Matoya's Cave theme. When I first heard this song, images of a CGI sparrow waddling across the countryside singing this song and greeting his other animal friends played in my head. I don't know why. Oh, 
I'm kind of cheating with this entry. I am including both Castle Cornelia and Ruined Castle, which is a variation of the same song added to the remix. Castle Cornelia plays in safe, inhabited castles, while Ruined Castle plays in abandoned ones. A royal presence fills the air as the guards and nobles line up near the red carpet. As the orchestra kicks up, the king, the queen, and their two daughters step forth and approach the throne humbling all who lay eyes upon them. As you step into the abandoned ruins, unlit and caked in dust, there is nary a trace of intelligent life. All that remains are the shambling undead who don't realize they are home. I don't know why I decided to write prose for this entry on the list. It just came to me. <laughs> Mount Gog plays in the location of the same name, that being Mount Gog. Or Gulag. Or Gurg. Or Gurgu. Or Gurag. Or whatever the hell it's supposed to be called. As well as a couple of other dungeons. The theme and its location were even reused in Final Fantasy IX. Whenever you hear this theme, you think of monster-infested volcanoes. Chocobo Racing is a game filled with loud and crazy remixes of older Final Fantasy songs. Mount Gog is one of them and plays when you race against the Goblin. Yeah. <laughs> 
town theme plays in every town in the game, except for some of the bonus dungeon towns. A calm, tranquil song perfect for mingling with the townsfolk. My only gripe with the song is this realistic squeaking that's supposed to sound like a hand moving up and down the guitar. It messes with my misophonia, but I've learned to ignore it since the rest of the song is so good. Mentioning Chocobo Racing again, since this song is so serene, the Chocobo series made it the theme of its resident white mage character, the pure of heart, Sherma. The main theme is the first song you hear once you've gained control of your characters. It plays everywhere on the world map and is an exciting, adventurous theme that accompanies your travels. The world may be in danger and monsters roam around every field and mountain, but this song's not gonna let your spirit fade. Do you know what ska is? Neither does anyone else. It's a genre that can't be explained because it changes drastically every generation. But when people hear ska, they usually think of bands like the Mighty Mighty Boston's. Dissidia NT made a ska version of FF1's main theme, and it's really fun to listen to.
One more for the main theme. Mentioning Risa Oki again, she has a Japanese cover of the song titled Gaia, which is very calm and mystical compared to its more energetic inspiration. So Last Boss is exclusive to the remakes and plays during the final battle against Chaos as well as the new super boss Cronodia. It's an epic remix of the normal battle theme which is fitting since that's the song you fought Chaos to in the original. This, like all the other songs introduced in the remakes, is sorely underappreciated in my opinion. We have our first fan-made remix on the list, which is the only good remix of the theme that I've ever been able to find. Link to the original video will be in the description, so be sure to support the creator and their channel. While this song is the game over theme, I almost never hear it in the original because I almost never die. Instead, I usually hear it in the remakes, where it plays in a few bonus areas related to death, including a neat little dungeon floor where you can meet with and re-challenge the ghosts of Ostos and the Vampire. Even though they're pitifully easy now, it's a strange mix of pretty and somber, and it's probably my favorite game over theme in the series.
There's a version of this song that plays in Dissidia, usually when the protagonists are having a deep discussion. It doesn't feel as good to listen to as the one I just played for you, but you piano fans might like it. Boss Battles A and B are two of four battle themes added to the remakes. These are the two that play when you fight against the four fiends. A specifically plays when you fight the two male fiends, Lich and Kraken, and is far more entertaining to listen to. My only question is, why did they bother making two themes for the four fiends? They didn't have to, and if they were going to, then why not four? One for each of them. I don't know. I love every part of this song. But the best part is the chorus. Remixes? There are no remixes. No good ones, anyway. The song is criminally underrated. Not even Square has seen fit to reuse it for any of the huge multi-crossover games they've been coming out with lately. It's a crying shame is what it is. Anyway, those are my top 8 favorite songs from Final Fantasy 1. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and checking out my other video if you haven't already. You can also join my Discord, follow me on Patreon, buy my book, hint hint, or whatever else to support me. Until next time, I'll be here, in the darkness, quietly awaiting your return. <laughs>